when the mystery of grace was revealed. We will read that in verse 1, verse 2, verse 3, and verse 4. Number 3 is the dispensation of the grace is the time of the Gentile. We will read that in verse 6. And number 4, the dispensation of the grace of God is the period of the church on earth with the glory throughout all ages. Number 5, it is when by grace church possesses the wisdom of God. It is when the church possesses the wisdom of God. And number six, the dispensation of the grace of God, it is the power of the gospel. The grace is the power of the gospel. And number seven, grace generates the power of faith. As we read in verse 12, verse 13. And verse 14, verse 15, and verse 20. So number 7, the riches of His glory made us full. In verse 16, verse 17, verse 18 to 19. Okay, uh, the, some division I did not mention the verses, but I will mention it. I will read. So we will read here in uh, verse 5. When in other ages was not made known unto the Son of Man, as it is now revealed unto his holy apostle and prophet by the Spirit, and to make all men see that is the fellowship of the mystery, which from the beginning of the world had been high in God, who created all things by Jesus Christ. So, our message is the dispensation of the grace of God was hidden for a long, long time. In accordance, here in verse 5, in verse 9, that we have read here, that uh, this uh, dispensation of grace was hidden and not revealed to the Son of Man. So, as it is now revealed unto his holy apostle, but the time came that the hidden dispensation of the grace for a long, long time was revealed to Apostle Paul. So that is the time that the dispensation of his grace was revealed. And it was supported here in verse 1, for this cause, I call the prisoner of Jesus Christ for your, for your Gentile. In verse 2, if ye have heard the dispensation of the grace of God which is given me to you all. In verse 3, how that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery as I wrote a call and a few words. Verse 4, thereby when you read, ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ. So, Apostle Paul narrated in his epistle that uh, for a long, long time this dispensation of grace was hidden for the past previous dispensation. But in accordance to him, this dispensation of the grace was revealed unto him. And he wrote to the church of Ephesus to explain them what is this dispensation of the grace. So we will know as we go forward for the explanation. So this dispensation of the grace is what they call is the time of the Gentile. So we read here in verse 6 that the Gentile should be part fellow here and of the same body in particulars of his promise in Christ by the gospel. So this dispensation of the grace of God, this is what also the times of the Gentile. It means to say that uh, why it is called the time of the Gentile? 
because the salvation was open to the Gentile people. It's time that the salvation was open to all race of people here on earth. Because in the New Testament, it seems that the salvation will begin through the Ten Commandments and other ordinances there in the tabernacle. And only the Israel people who are called by God to follow this ordinance and Ten Commandments of God. But it is hard for the people to be these Ten Commandments and the ordinances in the tabernacle. So there is an appointed time that God set a dispensation of the grace. And it was already was happy. When His Son, Jesus Christ, was incarnate here on earth, and they crucified Him, and He rose again, and He will come again to take up His church. Mm -hmm. And this is the period of the dispensation of the grace where the Gentile received their salvation. So as we read there in verse 6, that the Gentile should be filled here and of the same body and particles of his promise in Christ by the gospel. So there in Acts, there are verses there that we read that the Lord will call also for the Gentile for his name. The God will call the Gentile for his name. So, this dispensation of the grace of God, this is a great privilege to all human race here on earth to receive their salvation. Okay, so we will continue. Now, this dispensation of the grace is the period of the church on earth with the glory through all ages. So let us read in verse 21. And to him the glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end, the world without end. So, this dispensation of the grace, this is the time that when the church was born. And the church was not only born, but the church possesses the wisdom of God. Why Apostle said that, uh, yeah, that is the, uh, we will uh, come to number five. By grace, church possesses the wisdom of God. So we will read that in verse 10. To the intent that now unto the principalities in power and heavenly places might be known by the church the manifold wisdom of God according to the eternal purpose which the purpose in Christ Jesus our Lord. So, after the church was born, the church was not only born, it was not only exist from the day of the cross. Although, the final manifestation of the church is in the day of Pentecost. But actually, it was born there in the cross <coughs> during the crucifixion. But when they received the baptism of the Holy Spirit, that is the final manifestation of the church here on earth, which was hidden for a long, long time. We will go back to the previous verse that we have read. That all the need in the previous dispensation, it was hidden unto them. Apostle Paul talking about the history of the church. The prophets have been released their prophecy that there will be a coming Messiah. But they did not understand that uh, the Son of God will be crucified. They say about this crucifixion, but they did not understand what it does mean. Because on their understanding, when the Messiah will come, He will restore the kingdom of David. And that is what the Jewish in Israel expect.
big thing. But when the Son of God came, they crucified him. So that is the fulfillment of this dispensation of grace. It is the born of the church. And the church are those people who receive Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. So all people today, all Christians today, who receive Jesus Christ as their personal Savior, they are the members of the Church of the Living God. And the Church of the Living God is, is still exists today until the day that the Son of Man or the Son of God will come again to take His Church. And while this Church is on earth today, the wisdom of God was given to the Church. Amen. <clears throat> Because there are so many people here on earth, but they don't understand what is happening. They do not understand that there will be a coming rapture. They don't understand that there is a burn again inside the church. They don't understand that there is a, a freedom for those who receive the Spirit of God after they receive Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. They do not understand that all uh, members of the church, uh, they receive also the eternal life. They do not understand that there is a resurrection after death. All these are the wisdom of God, that only the church possesses this kind of wisdom of God. That is what Apostle Paul means. The wisdom of God was given to the church. Mm. 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 There are so many religions here on earth, including Islam, including Buddhism, including Hinduism. There are so many groups of religions here on earth, but they do not understand what is eternal life. They do not understand what is born again. They do not understand what is freedom through the Spirit of God. It's only the church can understand this. This wisdom of God was given to the church. Now, we will continue. Here in uh, verse 10. <coughs> By grace, church possesses the wisdom of God. And then... We will go to Sibin. Verse, verse, verse Sibin. Where I was made a minister according to the gift of the grace of God given unto me by the effectual working of His power. In verse 8. Unto me who am least than the least of all sins and His grace given that I should preach among the Gentile the unsearchable rich of Christ. So, the power of gospel is the grace. Apostle Paul said that he preached the gospel, he preached the grace. The, the center of Apostle Paul preaching in his gospel, when he preached the gospel of Christ, the center message is about the grace of God. So, we understand that when we will preach the gospel of the Bible, we will preach the gospel because it is the gospel that only bringing the message about the grace of God. We will not preach the gospel because we want to edify our doctrine inside the church that is the a doctor, uh, religious doctrine. We will not preach the gospel to uh, edify those uh, religious doctrines that what we believe. But we will preach the gospel of Christ because we want to preach and deliver to the people what is about the grace of God. That is the simple message of the gospel today. As Apostle Paul said here, I will repeat, whereof I was made a minister according to the gift of the grace of God given unto me by the effectual working of His power. So Apostle Paul was made a minister to preach the gospel of God. Amen. Amen. So, yun lang ang 
uh, dapat na pagpapahayag ng salita ng Panginoon. Pahayag natin ng banal na kasulatan dahil gusto natin na ipaalam sa mga kapatiran tungkol dito sa grace of God. Hindi natin binupuklat ang Biblia o binapahayag ang Biblia para sabihin natin na ito ang doktrina natin. Hindi. Ang dahilan kung bakit tayo ay nagpipreach at ang preach natin ay galing sa Biblia to know, to lead the people to know the grace of God. Because this grace of God is the only hope for the people today. Mama, ako din ang This is the only hope for the people today. And the grace will generate the power of faith. As we read here in verse 12, in whom we have hopeless and access with confidence by the faith of Him. <coughs> so, it is because of faith, there is boldness and there is confidence. We will continue to verse 13. Wherefore I desire that ye fail not at my trouble. So, during this dispensation of grace, this is the time that God allowed the faith of man, the faith, that there is power of faith in God. When man practice his faith in God, there is power because it was generated by the grace of God. For today is the dispensation of the grace of God. It is because the grace of God that we have the power of faith. So, as we read there in chapter 2 in Ephesians, verse 8 and 9, For ye are saved by faith in grace. So, in the grace of God, when we believe that God can save us, God will save us. By the power of faith, through the grace of God, when we believe that God will change our life, God will change our life. So there are so many people who receive a great changes unto their life. It is because they have the faith that God will change them. And that is the work of the grace of God today. In the previous dispensation, the only way for a man to become righteous and become holy is to obey the laws is to obey the ordinances there in the tabernacle. To obey the Levitical law. It is not about their faith. But today, it is only by faith. God will bring us salvation. And when God brings us salvation through faith, then we will become righteous because God sanctify our life. God separate us from the power of sin. God allow us to be saved. God allow the righteousness in our life. And that is the power of the grace of God. To bring the power of our faith. That what we have believed in God, God will do it also unto us. Amen. 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 Dahil ganun siya para may pakita niya ang grace sa buhay natin. Because grace is free, grace will not be by, you cannot buy grace. But grace is free to all those persons, those people who have faith in God. So it's only by faith in God that we will receive the grace of God. And it's only the grace of God that allows us everything because it is free from God. For the grace of God is only operated by the power of God. The grace of God is not operated by money. The grace of God is not operated by who we are. The grace of God is not operated by this world. But the grace of God is operated by God. That is the only way. God to deal with us so that we can receive praise of vision because of the grace of God. And that is the work of our faith in God. Praise the Lord. 
So grace generates the power of faith. There are a lot of miracles that will be happening in the church. There are a lot of miracles. Pero marami din hindi naniniwala. Kaya na puna ko doon sa mga media, social media, doon sa YouTube. Na they uploaded those so uh, miracle healing ministry. And they put the heat caption to that YouTube. They put a fake healer. Because they do not believe what was happening that there is a miracle healing. The blind can see. The thick air will open. The dumb can speak again. All kinds of diseases will be healed. These are the grace of God through our faith in God. Amen. But praise the Lord. Pray na pa yun on. Tayo ay naligtas. Tayo ay binago ng Panginoon. At kinanggap natin ng ganong wisdom ng Diyos sa buhay natin. We receive those wisdom of God that God can do everything in our lives. That is the wisdom of God. The wisdom of God is He will do everything through His divine power. It is not through our effort. It mm -hmm. is not through the world wisdom. But it is through His divine wisdom, everything will be happy. It is through by His mind, by His power. So in verse 16, we read here that we will grant you according to the riches of His glory to be strengthened with might by His Spirit in the inner man. So we continue in verse 17, that Christ may dwell in you, your hearts by faith, that ye being rooted and grounded in love. So, we, the riches of glory, we receive our promise. Amen. Amen. Ang buhay natin ay hindi kompleto. Ano ari ay pagkurangan tayo na talaga mo tibiyak. Timalipan nga kurang tayo iti sire. Mas laawan ang amo tayo. Ngamno di binasa tayo na ito yung kapasot tinasapon na surat. Na ito ay uh, Philippians ay uh, Ephesians chapter 3. Iti verse 16 that we, He will grant you according to the riches of His glory. No binasa tayo na ito ay, na giti ibang banag, ipahay na kada tayo, babaan iti kinabak ng ti dayagna. So na ito iti kinasirip ti Diyos, na da iti iglesia, na patpaksyon tayo. Na, no ada na iya pagkurangan tayo, kuna tayo, kuna na mo iti ay Ephesians chapter 3 verse 17, na, Isabot na hindi tibang banang kapag itinabak ng tidayag na. Na itatipin natin ti may isang kristyano nga po doon nga nabalbaliw ang tidayag na. Iso nga awan ti panagdwadwa ka na hindi kristyano no kasano nga tarak ng kaaywanan niya po Diyos iso na taamin na hindi tibang banang kat may ipahay ka na po na gapo iti kinabak ng tidayag ti Apo. The glory of God it's not only a shining waters, but the glory of God is about His miracle working. The manifestation of God's glory is the manifestation of all miracle through the divine power of God. Kunan ni Apo Jesus hindi na minsan? Kunan na kitaadala na, Apay, saan tayo nga mapante? Ito yung pasyaran ni Lazaro, ito masakit. Ngayon, hindi, kung saan na nga napan? May na niya pakamu ay sukot na tayo. Kung kuna ni Apo Isos, naramid na ito ay. Tara ito ikot pa kay Daydayawan ti Apo. May panangarang ti Dayak ti Apo ko na na. Sabi nga mo na hindi disan po, hindi ka nga sa ul. May hindi na panda, na tayo gaya ni Lazaro. Hindi pinukawan na ni Lazaro, nagungar manipod niya tanaw. Dahil yan, ibagbagan ni Apo Isos mga Dayak ti Diyos na may pagkita. So, ano mabingsan? Praise the Lord for the disease. 
Praise the Lord for all what we have suffering. Because this is the time that we will experience the miracle of God, which is the glory of God that will manifest in our life. Amen. May bagat ayang apod luting milagro no sangko na padasan na nagsakitak mo at katagasan na. May bagat ayang na imbag ni Apo Diyos no sanak na napadas kat nariknak ni Panangalaw ni Apo Diyos kanya. May bagat ayang na nakaskas daw ni Apo Diyos na awal na giti naglasatan tayo ng bambandag ka kaslasan tayo makapagsurvive ng gabaw ka na giti pamati tayo ng ni Apo Diyos kat manakabalay manangasikan managayat. Kaputi pa mati tayo, nga adumot na kita mga ikakararag ka na tayo. Kaputi pa mati tayo, nga awan mo tayo pasibli kinihapon Diyos. Nakaskas daw mo kasalungan pa lang kapag survive tayo. Kanagijay, nga panpanag, nga panpanas tibiyag, nga pangarupan tayo, nga saan tayo makapag survive. And this is how the manifestation of God's glory unto us. So nga nagsakit tayo, kuna tayo, thank you Lord. This is the moment for God's glory. Nagtitikyan po ng ang mangilista. Kita yan, kaya po. Kailangan kami nararami na tika po sa rakat yung mga upupay ka na tayo. Ibaga, santay ay alaw, nagigay ng klase yung tika po sa klase yung tika ng alilang tika po sa ng mga mistisip ka na tayo. Not only about the disease, but even about other matters, mas pag-arigan, ada rin kiti, sang-sangun tayo mga problema yung tibiyak, Babaling nga, it's about material or it's about what doon niya man na ito na banak. So, lang ikabuso, babaling nga saan tayo nga kasaksis. Babaling nga awanti, pagkapuan, ikasakulan tayo. Ay nga ti arangin na ikabuso. Kasi, napatsyon tayo ni Apo Diyos, may parangaraw kita yung ti Apo. Kaya siya lang ulit ilaglaban ng ikabuso. Kaya pa nang knockdown na iti pang mati tayo. Yes. Ngayon na ito, ti may sana na ito, ito iglesia nga sana nga amon, na ito awal ito iglesia. Nga na ito abda, ito yung red ito iglesia, and ito mapanunod ka ni Hapo Diyos na iso nga nang ito, ito pang nakabalin na ito iglesia. Ure ang nyaman na ito yung abanbanag nga matikita tayo, ito ang dama, ito biyag tayo, nga kasla, nga saan tayo, nga manasatan, But it is because the wisdom of God was given to the church. And that wisdom of God is only to trust in the power of God. It's only to trust how God can do a miracle inside the church. Then God will allow it. All the manifestation of His miracle inside the church. This is the dispensation of the grace. As long as the church is on earth, all these kinds of wisdom and miracle of God will be manifested. But when the time that the church will be raptured, because after this dispensation of the grace, there will be another dispensation that will be succeeded. It's no longer dispensation of grace, but it is about the dispensation of the seven years tribulation. In Daniel, it's about the 70 weeks. In Genesis, it's about the Jacob's trouble. So that is not the part of the dispensation of the grace. The sky, just a little longer, when we all be glory bound. No, I will do Jesus, your redemption grow with night. Just a little longer, when we all be glory bound. We will all be glorified. Amen. Amen. There is no problem. What is our trials today? What is the situation today? This all will be passed. We will come to the final end that we will all be glorified in the glory in heaven. There in the kingdom of God. There. For God prepared for us a mansion. Praise the Lord. Allah, ya ya tengah kekamsat isunga cak almu di kayak ya aku ngam kayak ku mai pasing ke tinggi saya ngadak jalan tayo ngada tayo ngada tayo dan di Malaysia intet ya aku kada tayo di Sirik ya aku dan di Malaysia.
Babalik man nga santay yung kamawatan no kasalot yung parang operasyon na ito nga si Hiritya ako para tayo. Nga pinag-i-achieve po na nga kasapulan tayo dahil tayo nga si Hiritya ako ito na tayo ka. Ito na tayo ka. Ang po may pag-aamin si Paul Peter na the wisdom of God. But the wisdom of God will work in every situation and every matter. And praise the Lord. <clears throat> the wisdom of God is always on top of the situation. The wisdom of God is always on top of the situation. So if we believe on that, Oanti Malilo, Oanti Masuliso, Oanti Mapokao, what we will all be always in the hands of God. When we have the wisdom of God, we are always in the hands of God. For being in the wisdom of God is always in the hands of God. Amen. Amen. But once we are not in the wisdom of God, that is the very danger to us. That maybe it will bring us to empirity. So the importance for us today is to always possess the wisdom of God. So kung natin siyang tiyago, nagiti awan ti sirin na ang dawat kayo kung may tiyapo. Ito'y kata kayo ti sirin. That is the secret of being a Christian, of having the wisdom of God. And the wisdom of God will always guide us in every situation that we are experiencing. Kemakmur tayo kami dari tengah kota. Please 
help Help my heart Oh, unbelief Yes, Jesus, yes, Lord Savior oh, Blessed Savior Here Hear my humble, my humble cry. Yes, Lord. Why? So many others now are calling. Not pass me, oh, don't pass me by. Trust him, trust him only. What I seek, Lord, your precious face. Master, please heal my wounded spirit. Save me, save me, Lord, by thy grace, yes, yes. Save your oh, blessed save. My humble, my humble cry, yes, Lord. Oh, wow. oh, wow, on others, thou, thou art calling, yes, Jesus. Do. Pass me by. Do, do not pass me, oh. Pass me by. Yes, Lord. Don't pass me by.